Welcome to Day Snorkeling with Jason George. This is a little bit less scary than night snorkeling. But a lot of people say that they don't see things when they go snorkeling. But maybe they're just not looking for the right things. Or maybe the animals are camouflaged. Have you ever been snorkeling? Snorkeling is one of my favorite things to do. Getting to swim with the fishes. Man, when the fish come out, they're beautiful. Sometimes, though, you find some dangerous fish. Ooh, barracuda. Have you ever seen one of those? What about a lionfish? These ones are beautiful, but they're invasive species and they are dangerous. This is probably one of my favorite f fish. And occasionally when you look in the water you see some garbage. The fish can be curious or sometimes they're defending their nest. Just like when you're walking the trails, you need to look in the holes and the cavities. Sometimes you'll see cool things. So I was on my way out for my first dive and I noticed this couple sitting on the pier and they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm about to go snorkeling. Actually, I'm going to make a YouTube video on some of the cool stuff I see. They sort of laughed at me and then I was like, no, no, I'm a wildlife photographer. That's what I'm going to do. On my way back, they told me about this fish that they saw swim by, so I went and checked it out. This is where I see the squid at night. As I was over on this side, following the porcupine fish, I started to look at the schools of fish that I saw. And this is normally a really cool, awesome school of fish. And then as I turned around, I noticed this large cloud moving towards me. But it wasn't a cloud. It was a large school of big bluefin tuna. These fish are about eight inches for the smallest one up to probably 16, maybe 20 inches. Bluefin tuna have been recorded up to 1,500 pounds in weight. Fully mature adult species tend to average around six and a half feet to eight feet long, weighing in at around 500 pounds. They can live for up to 40 years. A single tuna has sold for over $1.75 million, and I'm sure that number is growing. So bluefin tuna are highly prized as food fish, but besides their commercial value, the tuna's great size, speed, and power they display as predators has attracted the admiration of fishermen, writers, and scientists. It's amazing that I'm getting to spend so much time with this large school. They don't even seem to care about me. Unfortunately, the tuna is disappearing as a result of the price per fish. Although tunas do provide food and livelihood for people, they are more than just seafood. Tuna are a top predator in the marine food chain, maintaining a balance in the ocean environment. I can see that some of them are eating something but I can't figure out what they're eating. But this experience of getting to hang out with this school of tuna is amazing. And just as I think that they're about to swim away from me, they actually sort of turn around and they start swimming back to the pier where that guy with his wife is sitting. And I'm like, put my head up and I'm like, hey, look in the water. There's about to be a big school of fish coming towards you. And so they look into the water. And they get to experience this with me. And then I tell them, a fish for a fish, and they laugh. They showed me a fish, and now I'm showing them my fish. Because I was talking to them, I decided to swim closer to the pier so that I didn't have to yell over the water and I could hear them. And that's when my trip took a turn for amazing. And I actually ended up noticing my first ever octopus. If you look closely, You'll see those red tentacles and a rock moving? That's him and his suctions. <gasps> Do you see him? This is so cool. I've never seen an octopus. And don't worry, I shared it with a couple on the pier. He's changed color and I decide that maybe I should leave him alone. And I go off and look of other things. And I find this halibut. <gasps> I 
I love the way that they swim. And it's so cool the way that they dive into the sand to hide themselves and camouflage again. The way the fan coral is blowing or moving in the current reminds me of the way the trees move in the wind. It's awesome to watch. I've had some pretty good success so far on my day snorkeling trips. This is one of the highlights, the electric ray. Similar to the spotted ray, or maybe an eagle ray for some of you, but this one, he uses an electric force to actually kill his prey apparently. And off he goes. And I go and I hang out with the fishes for a little bit. And I end up running into that favorite fish I have. I don't think it's the same one. The way the pattern moves as it moves, I guess, must be hypnotizing to predators. And then I find another barracuda. Yeah, so a barracuda is a predator fish. This one is only a small baby barracuda. But barracudas can be fairly aggressive and they're super quick. Some people will eat them when they catch them. But as I'm snorkeling, I can't stop thinking about the octopus. So I head back and I watch the octopus. Do you see him? Oh my goodness, my first octopus. Look at the tentacles moving. Oh man, this is so cool. Wait until you watch my going deeper saltwater predator video. And I might try to work on one just on octopuses because I've got some really cool footage of this guy. And you can actually see him reach out and give me a high five here. Well, I don't think he was giving me a high five. Well, I think he was just trying to figure out what I am. He tended to hide most of the time when I was around, so I left him. And on this fan coral, you can see all this beautiful decoration. Well, on it, you can actually see two flamingo shells. Those are those cool things with those spots. That's actually the slug or snail type creature that's living inside it. When he's not out, this is what that shell looks like. You have to be careful of sea urchins. That's what they look like. That's what they look like when they lose their spikes. And then they break apart and they become part of the sand. Well, here's a porcupine fish. And this is pretty cool perspective of what a porcupine fish looks like. And you can see him battling in the current to try to get going. And once he finds his patterns, he just takes off on me. I look down and I notice something I've never seen in the daytime. A moray eel out? Normally I only ever see them at nighttime, so I go in to investigate. Yep, it's definitely one. And then he vanishes. And I don't know why, but I decided to sort of follow it. It's kind of creepy, but super cool. And I kind of lose him, and then I find him. And, oh. and then he decides to hide, and I guess I sort of scared him so I let him be in and off I go to enjoy the worms and other types of urchins that I can find. There's so many beautiful and amazing things underwater. I hope you get the chance to explore. A lot of creatures underwater can change colors. We've got the squid, we've got the octopus, and here you can see the halibut just change colors. Wow. Well, Please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, keep enjoying the wildlife. Check out some of my other videos. I've got some cool ones. And there's more on the way, so make sure you subscribe.